attempt to break the world record for the world's longest sleeping yo-yo. Ever since yo-yoing became a thing, yo-yoers have been obsessed with spin time. That begs the question, who holds the world record for the world's longest spinning sleeper? Well, by the end of today, it's gonna be me, unofficially. For this challenge, I'm gonna give myself three attempts. And if I fail, I have to eat an entire lemon. Wait, I, I haven't lost yet. Let's go. My first sleeper went off to a relatively good start. All right. Let's do this. Now, I did use a slightly shorter string and I didn't clean my bearing beforehand, so it didn't spin as long as it probably should have, but this was the result. Oh, all right, that's it. Oh. All right, so my first attempt garnered me seven minutes and 40 seconds, which is admirable, but the world record is, I believe, 30 minutes and 28 seconds. Got a ways to go! Now some of you may be watching this being like, yeah, Brandon, I've got a yo-yo, but how does yours remain straight for the entire thing? Whenever I throw a yo-yo, this happens. It just goes out and eventually spins out of control. There's a technique. If you twist your string this way, you can get the yo-yo to lean in that direction. If you twist the string the other way, you can get it to lean right back. And that is how I'm able to maintain the yo-yo in a complete deadlock position like this for the duration of its spin time. Now, not to sound salty, but the main reason I failed was because of the yo-yo. You see, not all yo-yos are made equal when it comes to spin time. You see, you've got your cheap plastic yo-yo. This will probably have about five, maybe 10 seconds of spin time in it. Then you've got like a plastic modern day yo-yo. This will probably have about four, maybe five minutes of spin time in it. Then you've got your metal slash bi metal yo-yos. These can spin for around seven minutes to maybe 10 minutes, depending on which model. But at the end of the day, all of these yo-yos are designed for tricks, not spin time specifically. This one, however, is not. Not. This hunk of metal is designed for one thing and one thing only, spinning on the end of this string. The yo-yo is designed with brass rings on the inner side and is way heavier than a normal yo-yo. A regular modern day yo-yo is about 64, 65 grams. This thing is 222 grams. So now armed with the proper gear, let's give this thing a go. We're in for the long haul. All right, let's do this. The yo-yo that was designed for nothing but spinning began struggling at a minute. It was at this point I realized that this challenge might be a little bit more difficult than anticipated. Yo, this yo-yo is struggling. Oh my god! That was so bad. Bruh, I hyped you up! What the hell was that? Alright, from what I can see, there are five factors in a yo-yo spin time. There's one, the power of the throw. Second is the efficiency of the string adjustments. Adjust it sooner rather than later, and it'll spin slightly longer. The next super important thing is how fast the bearing spins. That's a decently fast spinning bearing, I'll give it that. Now one thing that could potentially be a problem is if you look at the bearing, it's a flat bearing. You see, modern day competition yo-yos use something that is called a concave bearing. See how there's a little concave groove there? It essentially centers the string, improving the stability and spin time of the yo-yo. These once upon a time were a really big deal, but now they're about standard issue. I'm gonna add this to the yo-yo and see if it helps. The next factor is the string length. See, I was using a competition length string that was cut to my height, but now I'm gonna use a full length string uncut did anyone ever play with Beyblades? The longer the rip cord, the longer the spin. Oh my god, this string's way too long. Ah! The final factor is the yo-yo and uh, the player, which is, of course, optimal. What? With all the modifications in place, let's freaking do this. Ah! Before we get into that, you guys might be wondering, hey, I've got one of these crappy yo-yos. Where do you get the cool looking ones? Well, you can get various yo-yos at different price ranges at OffsetYoYo.com. If you're new to yo-yoing, I would recommend something like the Offset Yo-Yo Ascent. You see, it comes out of the box fully responsive, so you can do all your normal tricks, but it can then be modified to do some of these crazier, more advanced tricks. So head on over to OffsetYoYo.com and pick yourself up a yo-yo. <laughs> Yo, Loki, I really don't want to bring and eat this. Oh my god. I should have tested this thing out before I filmed this freaking video. Ah! Alright, let's go. Ugh. 
Now with the extra modifications, with the stronger throw, the longer string, a little bit more attention on my end, and the concave bearing, the yo-yo did begin to surpass its initial attempt, blazing past two minutes. At this point I thought it might have been working, but at around 10 minutes it began to lose a bit of steam. Still spinning. Ever so slightly, but still spinning. Still going! Ah! 14 minutes! So that was about halfway of what I was supposed to do. Oh, no! Yeah, wait, let's, 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 uh, let's work. Ah! Oh! If you like this video, like and subscribe. 